Welcome back everyone, Tina here. And in today's video, I'm excited to share with you that you can now view calendars and appointments in the user's time zone. Let's imagine this scenario. You're based in the Middle East, your company is based in the USA and your customer books an appointment from Europe. That makes it three different time zones. And before, when you logged into the system under calendars appointments, you could see the time zone wherever the client booked the appointment from. So you had to go into a separate tool and convert literally the time and the date into your own time zone to then understand when that calendar appointment was booked. But now, not anymore. It will now show in the user's time zone under calendars appointments, as well as in the actual calendar visual scheduler. Let me show you what I mean by that. All right, so first let's click on calendars on the left and then on the appointments at the top. And you can scroll down to the very bottom. And here you can see currently viewing in GMT plus for Asia Dubai, because that's where I'm located. And the second way you can confirm your time zone, you click on calendars at the top. And this is what I meant by the visual calendar. So if you hover over your appointment here, you can see the time zone is showing right here. 6 p.m. to 6.15 p.m. plus 4. Okay, so that is the current time zone where the user is located that is locked into the system. Now you may be asking, how do you set your time zone? No worries. Let's click on settings on the bottom left. Then you would click on my profile on the left as well. And you scroll down all the way to the bottom under user availability. Okay. And right here under time zone, you can see the time zone. Okay. This is where you can set the time zone where you are located at. But if you wanted to set the time zone to EST, for example, let's say your company is registered in the US, you would just change that here. You would just click here. You would just type New York, for example, EDT, you would select that and then adjust the availability under the calendar hours as well, according to whenever you're available. And that's it already. This is how you can see the calendar appointments in the visual calendar, as well as in the list format in your time zone. I hope this makes your life easier and I hope you learned something new and I will see you in the next video.